and director of the Christ College First Year Production. This Woo! year, yeah. <laughs> Here's our town, town, town. 
even though it ain't really much, I swear I'll never fail. I'm a deputy this year, Tom, and I need to play the scene. Then my voice is a few words kind of do-gooder. So don't cross her, especially me. Because you'll regret it! <laughs> Thank you. 
from near and far to try for their fortune. And now, the only ones with any fortune, <laughs> the only ones with any fortune are the mayor and the occasional hotshot that wears through. Everybody else, well, we're fools. Some of us who are stupidly dedicated to this town, and some of us who can't afford to leave. <laughs> and it looks like some of us are the fool who the twisted snake of trouble has its eye on. And it looks like those fools are stuck in gold tonight. You go first. No, you go, Sinky. You don't afraid of the dark. In the middle of the day, Kirsten, pull yourself together. The mayor's going to be taking her siesta. Wait! Where's Beryl? Who's Beryl? We picked him up at the bar. Beryl, hurry up. Oh! Shh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. We're going in. Oh, that's 
nothing. Look at all that they took, and you couldn't find a single hair? There weren't even any, there weren't even fingerprints. What are you going to do about this? Well, you know what they say. All's fair in love and love. No, no. <laughs> Big words, <laughs> Jessie. <clears throat> knock it off, knock it off. She is clearly upset. But honest, we did search this place high, though, and there is nothing we can find. Are you sure there's not any other information you can give us, like where you were when it happened, when it happened, specific items that are missing, possible motivations? The only reason that I could think of somebody doing this is to just mess with me or ruin my political campaign. But I've run a post for how many years has it been, Jesse, since your mother ran against me? A time frame. Yeah. Can you give us a time frame? Like, when you last saw your stuff and when you noticed it missing? Like, why are you missing half off the booth of the saloon right now? I didn't do the time, so obviously I don't know when it happened. But, it had to have happened either this morning or during my afternoon nap. Nap time? I think you should... A politician like me needs her beauty rest. It's very busy. This morning, I went to the town hall, and I did some paperwork, and then I went to the saloon for lunch. And I only talked with the bartender for just a little bit, and then I came home and took my nap. Then everything was gone. Because visiting the bar at noon isn't concerning. <laughs> but otherwise, my valuables, the town's document, and my blankie are gone. So, nothing important. Since there's no clues, we might as well head out. Then hurry up and get out. And just remember, who, t who controls your salary? Well, that investigation was a bust. I can't believe they got away. <laughs>
buy another one. They'll be back soon, and we both know it. So we should just rest for now. I'm close to running on empty. It's your birthday, remember? We should be out there celebrating. I know it's off to a bit of a rough start with that chase and all, but it's nothing your old buddy can't fix. Alright, um, how about, uh, are we go visit me, Mama? The great baker, Mrs. Bluff? Ooh, God, I hope she makes that chair pie! Since then, 
she said about a whisper of the town. Although for a while ago, there was a pretty nasty rumor that Jim Mayor did it! <laughs> 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 okay, what well, my name is, Yosa, if I'm in the lips. Power to my hands, crush her.
call me that and don't touch me. Listen, ladies, it's been a long night and I don't need it to be any longer, so why don't you run along and get your fortune read? You know, I was interested in what she was saying about that whole rat out of town dating. Apparently, the computer found a new age got rabbit on this.
my butt off day and night down slaving in the mines. But cheers to payday. <laughs> And start acting intimidated. Okay. <laughs> you 
Actually, listen to me. You had a gun pointed at my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the Paulists would listen to me more often, but you know the Paulists always asking for more and more and more. <laughs> Anyways, what's up with that piano outside? Yeah, funny thing about that. Um, after the whole invasion at the mayor's house, she insisted on getting her grand piano moved into the safest place in town. Our bank's ball. Look how that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Mrs. Cash runs off, very panicked, to find our town's deputy and sheriff. Mrs. Cash, please calm down. We can't get any information out of you if you do not talk. There's been a robbery in our bank! They ran up to the counter and asked for all the money! I can be as quick as I could to get the sheriff Truman and deputy club on the case to catch him in the act. Did you see which way they went? Where they went? They went into the vault as soon as I left to get you two. You left a band of bandits in a bank alone. Yeah. You got to go alone. I left Mr. Cash there. He's like, you don't know how to find I think it's a lower Never mind. Let's move, Bill. We leave now and we're still catching the act. Let's do What? All right, duck loot. Here's your bag, Christmas. I guess I don't need a guard to anymore. I hope you enjoy talking to her. You find that so interesting. I will. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we caught these bandits red handed. <laughs> You're never going to get all of us. You're outnumbered. Hey, Mrs. Cash, there's three of us and three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Great! And then there were two. Well, two's enough for tango. Enough to take down these fools. Oh yeah? Well, uh, your hat's on backwards.
case finds out that it's game over for all of us. No more fresh food. No more water from personal watering holes. No more playing in daytime bands. No more freedom. You're the one taking away our freedom. You're throwing us in jail. And for what? Some girl we were supposed to lay waste years ago? You were only supposed to get this job so we take down the mayor from a rotted roof and destroy this town. That was your mom's plan. Someone died, Saguaro. That's what happens when the world burns. And if you don't figure out a plan, Tonto, you're not just failing your mother, failing Papa, the real Papa. But case. If she gets in the way, you do what needs to be done. But leave the mayor alive. He needs to watch the light burn. So what's the plan? I don't know. Come on! Just give what me the plan! I don't know! I don't know what to do.
Sometimes for me, my mom, me, familia. Lo siento, papá. You know, at least I'm the one undoing over a decade's worth of work. Also, I'd be talking to some girl. How pathetic. Wait! I have a plan to get y'all out. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm doing this, but then I'm done. Here's the plan. I'll unlock your chains and leave to go tell Case I'm done. I'll try to stall, but by the time I get back, you guys had better be long gone. And our revenge on the mayor? Do whatever you want, but nothing too serious, you hear? And then leave and don't come back. You know I can't make any promises. You know how your mom gets. Besides, can't you make sure we never come back? Oh, great and wonderful deputy. Are we clear to join us, Nepalis? Have your precious Casey escort you. I'm done with revenge. You're such a good person, deputy. You better remember it. I'm unlocking your chains, and then you guys will leave. So Guar will put you in. But boss, the doors are locked. Break a window! Whoa! Boss! Property damage? We're not monsters! <laughs> you killed a man! Hey, Christmas killed a man, and it was an accident! So it doesn't even count! Yes, it does count! I have to agree with you, boss. Do not agree with these two right now. You've got to be kidding me. Now is not the time for arguing. We need to get out of here. Let's stick together. <laughs> Unlock my chains already. Just figure it out. I can't keep risking my cover like this. If we get caught now, we're all screwed. Come on, boss. Who's going to find out? Daddy. Ha, ha, ha. 
Yeah, well, I missed the mark. It seems you did too. Well, you should have shot me. It would have been better for both of us. I don't think so. You don't know what you think. But you're right. I'll do what's better for you. Jesse? Guadalupe, Love de la Cruz, what do you think you're doing? Do you think that I raised you to be a soft-hearted, weepy little, pathetic quitter? This, what is she talking Nothing about? Nothing you need to worry about. The fact that shutting me out again? Look, Jess, I am tired of your games. Tell me what is going on. Would you believe me if I told you me my mom's and as cherry sweet as you think she is? When me papa got killed, there was a time I thought I'd lose both of my parents. Me and my mom was almost psychotic with how angry she was. And her form of coping? She wanted venganza, revenge on the mayor and the old sheriff. And she wanted my help. And I wanted to so badly. I wanted to watch them burn. Me and my mom told me it was the only way to make sure me and papa didn't die for nothing. And she had the resources at her fingertips. Not many people in here to band of bandits when their spouse dies. <laughs> what? Yeah, she was lucky like that. So for years she built up this plan to get back at the mayor to take everything she had worked for, but she wasn't getting any younger. And who better to carry your plan than her only daughter? She taught me how to hate, and I burned with it. But maybe deep down I just wanted to know that she loved me. I didn't know any better at the time. The things I did for me, Mama, to appreciate me, to prove I was loyal to me, Papa. I knew it would all catch up to me. But I did it because it was her reason for living. It was her plan. It was my reason for living, too. Jesse, I didn't know reason to live. But... Yeah, I know now. And I knew it would only make things harder for our friendship, but I wanted so badly to believe that I could do both. So this entire fiasco could have been avoided? Yeah, but I won't say that I'm innocent. I could have made choices, but me familia, you know? It's hard to part from me someday. She's all I've ever known. She was there to pick up the pieces of me when I didn't know how to keep going. But Jess, don't you know what this means? We can get you out of this. Case, be realistic. The people of Shady Springs want someone behind bars. And my men, mis hermanos, they're long gone. And unless you can catch me mamá, who's well on her way to the plains of Mexico by now, the only one left to blame is me. You did nothing wrong. You were just a kid. Yeah, 15 years ago, Case. But I'm not that girl anymore. Let me make this right. Let me fix this. For real this time. My family wrongs, but my friendship's strong. I am the one to lose. You're the one I choose.